Hello and welcome back to another Space Engineers Showcase video. In today's video, we're looking at another personal transport ship, and this one is called the LST-41T Archimedes Personal Transport, which is this lovely thing over here. So this is a small compact transportation vehicle that allows you to move a small amount of goods from one place to another. We utilize all three thrusters, so we are good for both space and planets, but it does come at a little bit of compromise because it utilizes ion thrusters in order to stop itself while on the planet. But we'll come back to that a bit later. Pressing F10 and finding it in the spawn menu, the Archimedes is 474 small blocks using the decorative block number one, Heavy Industry, Sparks of the Future, and Wasteland DLC packs. We can see here all the information about it on the Steam Workshop page, as well as the scripts it used which is the artificial horizon, the ship damage monitoring, and the inventory management. So we'll give this thing a thumbs up, we'll move all around to the very front, we'll have a quick look around the outside, then we'll fly around for a bit to see what it can do. So, at the very front, this is what we get. Front and centre, we can see our industrial cockpit that's currently being covered up by some armoured plates. If we were to pan the camera all the way around to the opposite side, what we're going to see is some programmable blocks, and these are going to be for our three script I spoke about just a second ago. So there's our integrity, there's our artificial horizon, and there is our inventory management on the left hand side. It's quite a novel way of having more screens on a cockpit, because it allows you to utilize ones on the cockpit, as well as these ones at the front. And it's simply held onto the main body by some armored plates and some barred window blocks right underneath it. On the left and right hand side of our cockpit, we got ourselves our ion thrusters, and these are the ones that are going to be used to stop us in both space and on a planet. They do work a little bit, but we are going to be relying on doing a 180 in order to stop ourselves in a more reasonable amount of time. Just above our cockpit, we can see a Gatling gun to blast any kind of pesky drones that get in our way, and we can also see some ore detectors and antenna, so we can go out, scout ore patches, and do whatever. On the very edges of our ship, we can see an air vent on both sides with a spotlight that can move on the hinge in case you need to get a better view down below if you're using a very dark skybox. Then moving along the sides there, we can see some hydrogen tanks covered up by some more armoured plates. And as we move around the side here, this is what we get. So we can see a large atmospheric thruster to push us around and give us some great speed while on the planet. Then just below here, we can see some magnetic plates to land ourselves down on. If we come down and look just underneath, there's another armoured plate with our hazard skin on it. And just below there, we can see some time blocks, as well as some hydrogen thrusters to keep us off the ground. If we were to move all the way around to the very back, this is what we get. So we've got our two large hydrogen thrusters and two atmospheric thrusters on our side wings. We've got an interior light at the back there just to light everything up, and a connector to refuel this thing, and of course to unload and load any goods we're transporting. We can also see even more great use of all those armoured plates, and they have been a great addition to the game. So many ships these days use them, and they always look fantastic with how everyone sets them up. So yes, we can see that all the way at the top. And then looking down, we can see some great use of our blast or edge blocks. We can see a bunch of batteries going along the middle, with some more text boxes making a little symbol. It might be spelling something out, or it might just be some symbols. I'm not too sure. Yes, we can see a large hydrogen tank in the middle there. There's our antenna and ore detector. And there's our cockpit and gun at the front. If we were to drop down and come past our spies at the front there, we've got a sensor block underneath with another magnetic plate. There is the bottom of our hydrogen tanks. And there's some more great use of our armoured plates going on in the middle along that hydrogen tank. There's our landing gear we saw earlier, our hydrogen thrusters, some more hazard skin. And there's the hydrogen thrusters at the very back there to push us around. And if we come all the way up to here onto the very side, we can see a sneaky reactor and gyroscope hidden away right here behind our hydrogen tanks. And coming to the opposite side, we should have the same setup. There we go. And that is a very brief look around the outside of the LST-41T Archimedes Personal Transport. And it does look fantastic with how it's all been set up. The armoured plates have been put to very good use all the way around this. So now I can just grab hold of my character. When we come into first person view, this is what we get at the LCD screens at the front. It's got our simple hydrogen and power usage, our clock, our gravity. Then down below here, we can see our scripts. Then all the way at the bottom, we've got a free space to put whatever. Just looking around onto the side there, that is what we get all the way around the ship. And just bring up the HUD onto tab number one, this is what we get. 
So number one, it's gonna be for our Gatling gun at the top there to blast it straight forwards and hopefully deal with anything that's coming towards you. Number two is for our spotlights on the side there to angle them straight down in case you're searching for something at night or maybe trying a search and rescue and just trying to find out where your friend has gone. And as for that, that's all this thing has to offer. We won't do a proper thruster test because of those iron thrusters at the front there, but we will just move forwards. That's the speed we get on a planet, it's very, very good. And then coming to a stop, you can see this is what we get, and that's because of our iron thrusters at the front doing as best job as they can while in the atmosphere. But of course, we've got the gyroscope control to do a 180 and start boosting forwards. There we go. And we should come to a stop a lot quicker. And just to show you the inside of the ship, to show you that there isn't any other thrusters moving forwards, while it is slowly coming to a stop, we just hide the HUD and come all the way inside here, past our cockpit. There we go. We now come past here, we can see a few more batteries. And there's our O2H2 generators. But yes, you can't really see any other thrusters to help this thing stop. So there we go. If we come back into this and start moving left and right, that is what we get. Moving down and then moving up. Moving down, we're a lot quicker because we're on a planet. And moving up, we are a bit slower, so you will need to take it easy when trying to land this thing. And as you saw from when we were just flying forwards, this is the mouse control we get. It's got a little bit of weight on here, but it's still very responsive and generally what I prefer when it comes to a ship. And of course, just to come into here and finding our cargo containers, this is what we get to carry all of our stuff. We've got a medium for our oars, we've got a small for our components, and we've got another small for our tools and ammo. So there we go, we can carry a nice little bit around. And of course, we've got the great speed of transporting everything in case you need it right away. So what we can do now is just come all the way over to this ice field and I feel like we should blow this thing up with the biggest explosion possible and I can only think of one way to do that. So here we go, I've set up a little thing. Can this little ship, the Archimedes Personal Transport, survive my need to cause explosions? Well, let's find out, shall we? So we're going to take control of this little grid down here. We're going to come and find our warhead. We're going to start the countdown. There we go. And we're going to see how well this goes. Of course, it's going to get vaporized into a tiny little nothingness. Don't know, you can't even have a tiny little nothingness. What am I saying? Yes, it, it would be funny. Ow, my ears. Well. I'm not sure if it survived or not. Let's wait for the smoke to clear and we'll see just what's left of it. It would be kind of cool to see if someone could make a thermal nuclear immune ship or base. That would actually be quite incredible, but I'm not sure if it's possible with the sheer amount of damage. Maybe if it's on the outer ring, but it looks like, it looks like the ship is no more. I'm not even sure where my character is. There he is. And yes, the ship has simply been vaporized. But anyway, that is it for the Archimedes Personal Transport. There'll be a link to it in the description below if you do wish to download and play around for yourself. Highly recommend you do, and I'll be back with another video some point soon. Bye bye.